Steve. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Sorry, I nearly forgot to turn the microphone on. And Jay kindly noticed, literally as we were going live, which is fine. Uh, so, hello, welcome, thank you for joining us. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes, welcome to our channel. We're independent stamping up demonstrators based in the UK. So if you live in the UK, France, Germany, Austria, or the Netherlands, and soon to be uh, Ireland and Belgium, you'll be able to order our current stamping up products from our online shop or join our team. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yes, so that's new. <laughs> so that's happening. Um, I want to say October. I've got. I want to say the fourth of October is a date, but it's happening at the beginning of October. So yes, so, so good yes. news, exciting news. If you're from those two countries and you want to learn more about how to join, do email us or at, even shop. <laughs> yes, or even shop. Yes, at uh, Barry and J at mitosucrafts dot com. So just email us or um, message us through the Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube. Yes, all normal channels where you can find us there. So, yes, yeah, so it's all exciting. So, lovely. Yes. We've had a very busy day today. I feel very disorganised today. Um, it's all a bit of a rush. We've, uh, But I'm going to let Jay continue. What do you want to talk about first? Yes, so we give away <laughs> the cards that we create during the live stream. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that like button and comment because your comment will let us know that you are there and we will copy your name into the wheel of winners wheel of winners wheel of winners maybe <laughs> <laughs> yes uh and also don't forget if you are um shopping with us use our current host code which can be found on our website as well yes so that's good it's lovely um so we haven't i haven't done any of the slides let's no go. because that's not updated anyway okay all uh, right, so then. we'll say hello to those of you who have joined us um already and commented so we have vicky hi vicky uh thank you for sharing your lovely cards via messenger they are lovely not thank too you dark very much. well from the photo it didn't look too dark but <laughs> but yes um thank you so much connie hello connie we also have susan uh janice also charlotte hi charlotte uh, Betty H, our Madam Favor Request Counting Commissioner. So do it's both of us today. So um, do yes, so I'm doing in. one card and Jay's doing the second card. So um, yeah, so who's going to win today? So get your guesses in. Write it down on the comments on the live chat, please. And Vicky will um, count how many times Vicky's each of Betty. us. Oh, Betty, so sorry. I, I was reading. <laughs> uh, Betty will, um, yes, do the count. Vicky, you Thank can, you you so can be a moderator if you want yeah. to be. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sandy, Lolly and San, Sandy Macalo. Uh, we also have Lavinia. Hello, Debbie, Louise. Kathy, Crafty Sessions, Hello. lovely to meet you Yes, in lovely person. to meet you. Yes, and it's really hug. nice meeting you the other day yeah. or yesterday. We also have Pauline, and it's jumped. And it's jumped, and it's just going to whiz past all your names. There we go. Go down there. There we go. Robin. Hi, Robin. Alice. Hello. We also have Paula, Rose, Susan, Valerie, Anne. Hi, Anne. Uh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Uh, we also have Lisa, hello, Ladonia, Sandra, thanks for the pizza, <laughs> John, hi John, uh, Maureen, Claire, Sue, and another Anne, hello Anne Guton, and yes, Susan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Oh, what's that Susan saying? One, one. Ooh. Oh. Okay, the challenge is on. We're going, for, we're going for a draw tonight, are we? So, hi, Danielle. So, did you say Danielle? I don't know. If no, no. I've just seen her pop it. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yes, I, I, yeah, and you followed our post from Insta. Yes, we've um, we've had a very busy weekend this weekend. Um, we've been at a craft show in Farnborough here in, um, in the UK. So, it's in been Hampshire. in Hampshire. So, it's at the Farnborough International Airport. It was a big craft show by the, what's it called? The hashtag the craft shows. They changed their name on Facebook, the creative craft shows. Okay. 
you know, on Instagram, they're called the craft shows. Yes. So, <laughs> you can find out, and it's we've a big thing. Them. Yes. And we've had a stall set up there, which we shared with a couple of other people, and it's been just really busy. And we've got home probably about an hour and a half ago, and here we are with you, because we didn't want to let you down tonight. Yeah. So, but, but I'll waffle a lot about that in a moment whilst I'm card making. But what we're going to do is this is the card which Jay made last Sunday. Um, Wednesday. 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 Oh, Christ, yes. Um, I almost forgot about Wednesday. I wonder why. <laughs> Anyone who knows what I'm talking about will know why, probably. Um, Wednesday, we, Jay made this. He coloured this on our masterclass, but he made the actual card up, so it's for you, um, so he gives you an idea on what you can do with it. Um, but yeah, we're going to give that card away to you right now, so um, good luck, everyone. And then we're going to crack on with tonight's demonstration using the jingle, jingle, jingle. Jingle, jingle, jingle all the way. <laughs> That's a different song. That's not a Christmas song. There we go. <laughs> Let's go to something. Right. 43. Wow. There's a lot of you in there tonight. You. 43 of you. Wow. Right. Good luck, everyone. Bum, bum, bum. And who's the winner? Hey, Sandy. Excellent. Congratulations. Congratulations. There. Details are on the screen right now. Barry and Jay at matusucrafts.com. Please email us. Please pop today's date, the 4th of September 2022, in the subject line and your full mailing address, please, Sandy. And we will pop this card. Pop it like it's hot. <laughs> we will pop <laughs> this card in the post to you. So, congratulations to you. Um, where are we? Looks good. Excellent. So, congratulations. That there is going to be working its way over to you. Do please send us an email, otherwise we won't be able to send it to you with your details. Just love that. And that was the card which he made, the colouring which he done on our colouring masterclass. So, if you would still like to learn how to colour this panda, the class is still available as a replay on our website. So, just go over to, again, the website is still on the screen right now, matusucrafts.com. Go on to classes and events and you'll find it all on there. Um, and Jay has talked you through about two hours worth of colouring the, the free images in this one here. So hopefully at the end of it you'll be able to create a topper like this and then be able to create a card like this as well. So congratulations to you there Sandy, that card is going to be working its way over to you. So that's just, I realise my feed is way behind where I need to be. So yes, as I mentioned, we've been in Farnborough doing the craft event um, down there with a couple of other people as well. And it's been a really, really fun weekend. We've met lots and lots of people. We have um, sold some stuff. We've met lots, of, as I said, met lots of people. Some people we've never met before. Some people we talk to on, on videos and come to classes so, yeah. and never met them before. And it's just been made nice to see people, people we haven't seen since pre-COVID. And it's just been an amazing weekend. And it's really good. And lots and lots of new people. So who knows, we've been promoting our YouTube channel as well, so who knows, we could have an influx of people come and join us. So um, we will keep an eye out for any new newbies who come in and do it. But what we're going to do, we thought we'd keep it nice and simple for us this evening, <laughs> because we've been so busy, we haven't had chance. Well, Jay's been crafting for the last three days, because Jay was doing our make and take table, not our make and take table, he was doing our demonstration table. So he's been playing with the Stamparatus, he's been playing with kits, He's been playing with this jingle, jingle, jingle stamp set. So he's been he's been having fun all weekend and crafting, but it's been busy and probably very taxing for you as well, Jay, isn't it? Lots and lots of talking and probably repeating himself. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to do tonight. So what we figured we would do is for obviously for everyone who couldn't um, join us because you're either too far away um, or just couldn't get to us, we figured we will make the card which we were doing for our make and take table. And then Jay's going to do what he did for the demonstration. So I know some of you may have seen this already because you saw us live in class. But um, we figured we would do this for everyone so you can um, you can see what we actually did. And yeah, that's it. And it's also easy for us because I've got everything pre-cut. <laughs> which is great. So I've got my Stamparatus here, which is something which we don't use as much as we should do. And I have got the stamp set. Now, I do need... Let's just see if I've got any. I don't think we have any more. What do you need? I need scrap paper. Where's our grid paper? Do we not have grid paper anymore? No, but I can get you one. Oh, really? Do I need it? Do I need it? No, it's alright. I can do it on the scrap bit of paper right here. We've got plenty of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not taking one. <laughs> so, 
Jay likes to do it this way, so I'm going to try and do this the way that Jay does it. Oh, well, yeah, because it means, do you need this um, this tape here for when you do no, it? No, no, that's fine. I can. No, no. You can. <laughs> he wants can, to start singing. You can. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, no. There's no limit with the There's stamparatus. no limit with the stamparatus. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> boom, boom. Um, let's do it the way that Jay has it here, because Jay. Sometimes the issue you have when you're using the stamp practice or any stamping platform, if you go right up into the corner, you sometimes, because it's it's raised up and you haven't got quite a um, the connection in the corner here, sometimes it doesn't stamp always 100% correctly. So what we sometimes first like to do... Time. Sorry? First time. First time. Yeah. It just means that you then have to go back and maybe put a little bit of pressure. What we tend to sometimes do on this is get some washi tape here, which we've got, I'm sure all of you have got lying around somewhere which you don't use. And we stick it on and it acts as kind of like another a fake corner because it allows us to butter up against it here and then butter up against that and then that's another way that we can make sure it positions itself perfectly pop a magnet in place so that it then well see the problem with that is if it doesn't um if it does move you've got to make sure you get it back in the correct position again but just be aware of that one okay and i'm going to do that what we're going to use is the jingle 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 and I am going to use the Believe, okay? And I'm going to use the Believe. I want to start singing another song now. I'm going to use the Lights, and I am going to use In The Magic. Believe In The Magic is what we are going to write on this one. And I don't think there's anything else which I need to do right there. Nice and simple. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to line these up. So I want Believe to go here. I want my. I want. I've always been saying. I've been saying ball balls all day long, but they're not ball balls. They're lights. <laughs> they're lights. There is um, a ball ball or a bell. Yes, there is a ball ball in there, and I'm going to go believe in the magic. So I've got that. I think I've got my believe where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is I am going to because the believe outline and the lights are going to be in, done in exactly the same colour. I'm actually going to be able to stamp these down in one go and then the magic will then go on the other side. So we can pick that up like that and then I am going to, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp these then I can then work out my positioning. Now I'm going to use some ink spots which we've got here. So these have been very, very, very well used over the weekend because this is what we've been using for our demonstration. I need to clean them. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp this up, or ink this up, should I say, with the garden green. So we do have the big ink, big ink pads, but I also find that sometimes the smaller ones for this work really, really well with the Stamparatus because you have a little bit more control with your application of ink and you don't have this big pad. So if that's something which, uh, that's another thing, it's great for the spots. And then what we can do is we can then just stamp that down, like so. And there we have bells, no, not bells, lights and belief. I'm going to pop my In The Magic underneath this right here. And the great thing with the Stamparatus is we turn it round and we pick up the next one. I'm going to do this in a red. So I have got myself some real red right here. And I'm going to ink this one up. So, so this is what we did on our make and take table. So they made two cards. There was two designs. And we go in the magic. And then we have that one. So next thing which I need to do is I need to take the inner part of Believe Out. So we've got this lovely inner part. And that then goes in like so. I'm just going to have to bring this down a little bit closer to me so I can make sure I can line this up. Who's singing a certain song in their head? Because <laughs> I know that I am. <laughs> and then what I'm going to do is I'm now going to use this plate here and I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to pick that one up. Like so. So this was done in an old olive. So what we can do is we can go with an old olive and I've got my thing at the top and I can then just ink this up here with this green. And then a 
do this. Now we made, how many make and takes did we made? We made 216 that we planned to make with this one at the weekend. And I think we made close to probably about 150, I reckon we probably made. So there's a lot which has gone out. All right. So, hi Hannah. Um, that there has gone down. I would say that needs a little bit more of inking, okay, because it's not as perfect as I would like it to be, but that is not a problem. It may be because this ink pad has been used so much that it has, um, it may need a little bit of re-inking again. So I'm just gonna go over it again because it's not an issue because the paper hasn't moved and neither has the stamp. So I go over the top of it once again and I give it another application of ink. Do I need to, um or is it normal? The it vi vibrate. <laughs> the camera shakes. The camera does oh, shake. Yeah. That's where yeah, that's when I'm pushing down the inking this up. Sorry right. about that. That's and I can go again if necessary. Again, nothing has moved, so we have no problems with lining that back up. And you can see now I've got a much darker and better image. And that's basically a great way of using the stamparatus like that. Can you see how easy that is? So that was what we did for our make and take table. But what we're going to do is we're just going to take this to another level, which is what we did. Because again, that is that is great on its own. And in the stamp set which you've got, you do actually have the um, the little bits here which can go inside the inside the lights here. So you could do these in different colours. But what we wanted to do and show people, let's just this grub some chamois. I'm just going to clean these off before I close it all down. So, you, so just the, the chamois is great for this. I think this is really designed for the stamp apparatus, so it's another great way of cleaning your stamps whilst they are on the platform. And then I can quite comfortably do that. Let's just do that one there. And then I'll just do... Right there. And that's that cleaned right there and ready to go. So, but you'll see in between, you don't really need to clean it unless you're a messy crafter, which there was a few. <laughs> but because we used the stamparatus, we had we had some really young, had some really young children doing it as well, Jay, and they created and they were able to create a card like this perfectly as well, and they had some great fun. So what we've got is we have got the old olive car base. So this is cut down to um, the normal size. Actually, this is probably slightly different to our normal size, but it makes no difference. Then we've got ourselves a little bit of designer series paper, which is cut down. It was because of our sizes, we, it's shorter here, but we've got a bigger, fatter gap at the top and the bottom. But again, it doesn't look odd on one bit. And then we have got this one right here. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stick this down directly down onto my card base. So I know there's a few of you here that have was able to join us and it was lovely to see you all. And I so wish a lot more of you could have joined us as well. It would have been really, really nice to have seen you all. So that's going to go down like that. So this is a really simple, simple Christmas card. Can't get much easier on this, really. I'm going to stick that down flat onto this. So we've got a piece here which is the same width as the designer series paper. So that is on like that, and I've kind of gone a little bit top heavy, so you've got a you've got a smaller gap at the top than what you have at the bottom. So I'm going to just put that to one side for a moment and let that dry. What we've got here is let's go back to this one. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab a block, and I'm going to grab my ink pad once again. So I need my garden green, and I've got my red, and I'm just going to stamp a little bit on the corner right here of a block and I'm going to stamp the garden green over on this side over here and I'm going to take a Winkstella pen. So the Winkstella pens are obviously as some, most of you will know are liquid glitter okay and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to paint so these have already been this one was what we were using over the weekend has been very well loved okay 
and I'm just going to bring out some liquid glitter and I'm just going to put this onto a block. Maybe a little bit too much has come out there, but that's fine. Then I'm going to then put, mix it around with the green ink. And this is another way that you can paint paint with your... I don't know if it, even I'm getting it, that's a little bit too heavy handed for me. And I'm just going to colour that in like that. Gonna go alternate and you'll be able to then see that this is lovely and glittered so you've got nice sparkly nice sparkly lights. And this is a bit of a wow factor. A lot of people at the weekend were going, Wow, I can't believe that works and I can't believe that does that. So can you see that? Can you see that shimmer? which has now gone on to those lights. Now you want to do exactly the same for the red, okay? Now at the craft fair we had two pens. We had one for red and we put some washi tape around it does so it was just easier. I'm not going to worry about that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean it off. I'm going to pick up some of this one here and then I'm going to then just go back into my red over this side here. And you can see a little bit goes an awful long way. You can do a lot of stuff with this. And then you just want to then go in and then do that there. It is very, very. Just need to dry it. Takes it off. There's a lot on that. For some reason, that has splodged out too much for my liking. It's not like I haven't done this all, or I've done this at all, but. <laughs> Let's just try and soak up some of that glitter. So I'm taking the edge of a tissue paper. If you get too much, rather than trying to overwork it and move it around, grab up a little bit of tissue paper and kind of just suck, suck the ink up. And then I'm just going to then go back in again and dry that off and um, then colour. Elizabeth Millet um, did this at the show today. Hey. Okay, we're going to go in like that. Okay, it did splodge a little bit on that one there, but we've just got a, a light which is just shining through a little bit more. There's nothing wrong with that, but that's how you would do it. But you can see how I tried to save that a little bit more right there. And then that has then just splodged out. What I may try and do is I may, um, I could probably restamp over the top of that potentially see if I can then bring out that line a little bit more is how we could do it once you've done that you can then just wipe this off or use it or drain it now Jay are you, got, are you wanting to use those that glitter what I do I'll, I'll pop that block to one side so just in case you do decide to use <laughs> yeah, I'm, it I'm okay. are you sure because I didn't want to waste it I didn't want we will clean it off at the end of the okay, live just okay, in case yeah. you do do just it just in case because then we use. yeah just say <laughs> if we want to use that glitter we can do so good so what we're going to do is I am just going to Pop some dimensionals on the back of this. Like this. And then I'm nearly done. Well, in fact, I am actually done once this goes on. Because this is as simple as it gets. So who was it who made it today, did you say? Uh, Elizabeth Billet. Elizabeth, did you enjoy making it? That's, that, that is the question. <coughs> I hope so, anyway. And she said, thanks for all your advice. Can't wait to get my order and get crafting. Excellent. Lovely. Yes, your order shouldn't take too long. Which is good. That's that. That goes on like so. And there we have it. We have got a very simple, but I think quite effective Christmas card. This is easy for you, something for you to knock up several times. And well, I say we we knocked up, or, or everyone who come to our make and take table knocked these up relatively quick, relatively quickly. I think so. Yeah, once you've got yourself into a system, you can slap down, slap down, slap down. We're using the stamparatus, very technical term. They slap down. Um, I should really say stamp down, shouldn't I? Um, and there we have it. And I got zero points. I'm very happy. <laughs> <laughs> So good. So that's that one there. Jay is going to show you what we did for our demonstration, which just takes you to another level, okay, using the same stamp set. And this is going to be another way of just showing you how amazing the, um, how amazing the thingy is. 
Um, let's just read some of these comments there. Jay's just finishing up some of the comments. Yeah. So, good. Thank you, thank you. What did people like to order, Louise? Yes, um, what was popular? Surprisingly, the Stamparatus. So um, yes, the Stamparatus was uh, was a, was was very popular at the weekend. Um, it was again because people. It's something. Well, it's one of the things which Stampin' Up! have done. I know there are probably some other companies out there which have done something like this now, but I do believe that Stampin' Up! were very well, probably one of the first to have this kind of like hinge step technique, which was what stood it out amongst the rest at the time of when it was released. Um, and everyone was wowed by the fact that you could do this. And saying, Jay's going to hopefully show you in a moment what the, um, if you haven't seen that, and some techniques which you can do with that one as well. So, yeah, so I would say the Stamparatus and Winker Stella were some of the two, um, the two favourite things. Because a lot of people, did, a lot of people have got this and didn't know how to use it or didn't realise that you could actually then colour with it. Um, so yeah, I would say they were the two most popular items because they just yeah. wowed a lot of people. So good, that was that. That was my card. What I'm going to do is I'll hand you over to Jay, and um, we will hope he gets one point. <laughs> Fingers <You're> crossed. So <laughs> I'm so mean. Right, enjoy Jay's demo. Cool. Didn't. Whose name you want to say? Uh, I've highlighted so yes so well done Barry and I'm using the same uh, he, he use believes I'll do jingle um, jingle 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 uh, and I will use the sample practice as well I'm just checking my card base so I in the show I did use the the normal 14 point eight and a half by 21 centimeters but I'm gonna take it down to our usual 14 centimeters by 21 and I'm just gonna score that in half. so with Barry already showed you how to set it up but it's not set up for my cards so I will just do that and what's great about this number is the open edge because you can this is the card that I gave away or we gave away in the catalog bag that we had. So you can do slimline cards easily or full card base easily. I'm just gonna pop that on there. And I say and be careful because the magnets do attract a few, especially if you leave them on your table and um they because they're magnets they get attracted to each other. <laughs> And um, yes, they can shatter, which might, which ours did because it was my fault. I couldn't blame Barry. Because... <laughs> so I'm doing the jingle, and jingle all the way is there. So place that on. So it's pretty much the same as what Barry did, but slightly different because I'll be using the hinge step technique. And what I tend to do, oh, I just moved that, there we go, is when you pick up photopolymer stamp, it get it can get a little sticky. So um, I put the magnets around it first. I'll just take that off. And I will, is that all on there? In the magic. lift that up and then pick it up and then just carefully lift it up up even or off the paper the card and we will just start stamping now in my card i did do pool party so i'll just ink that up i'm hoping it's it's slightly tinged with a uh, sweet sorbet the color but I'm sure I cleaned it, <laughs> but we will see. So as always, just press it and you get a nice impression. Again, if you don't ink up all of that, you can just go back in. Another tip is I sometimes I use the ink pad or the stamp on there just to support it. So it's nice and level, but you don't really, if you can ink at an angle, then that's fine. So I'm just, I, I didn't say, 
90 degrees angle you can lift it up and off and then just go down one on the hinge and then ink it up again sorry for the wibbly wobbly we didn't have time to go around the show because I wanted um I did check out the lights <laughs> but I didn't buy one and I wanted a, a more secure phone stand but I, again I, we didn't have time so maybe next time so in our make and take I only uh in our card I only did three will will I be able to I, you can fit another one there but I will just keep it three and because it comes with two plates and they're detachable you can turn them around and be, it becomes four big plates so to do the jingle inside or innies as Barry would say why would you say that <laughs> so again just move your magnets closer to the stamp especially if it's like a solid stamp because it is really sticky and for I use memento now it's better to use non-solvent inks on your photopolymer stamp just so it doesn't damage it but memento isn't as dark as your stays on as you can see and i miss some but as barry showed you earlier you can just add another layer so rachel kent needs needs some inspiration Okay, for okay. for the jingle I jingle. Stand, I, I have to stand practice, but she's never used it. <gasps> Slap wrist. Wow. <laughs> well, using it, yes. yes, hinge step technique is one of the best technique uh, with the stamparatus. And I I did the uh, two or even three layers of memento for every single card that we put in our catalog bags, which was. 880 <laughs> but we did we did um, give away most of it I have some left so maybe for on stage in Vienna you'll have the same swap I have loads of swaps actually I'll show you and I've been as Barry mentioned I've been playing all weekend with this um, kind of like technique and with the stamparatos and also I I got the cottage rose out um, first time today because someone wanted some florals and botanicals so I thought oh yes we do have one but um, I haven't opened it <laughs> so it and um, yeah it was just a quick demo of the stamp and the matching dies because they come as a bundle and it did emboss. We got the we had the suki in the show um, on the side, so I I did emboss the underneath layer as well. So that's pretty much done. I've got the all the way down here, so I'm gonna just place that on. And if you're making loads of cards, you can just keep your stamps on the plate, and then we gonna use the other plate up. And this is pretty much what I did for all of those cards and again I just use black but obviously you can use different colors and there we go and that is already done so that's for the background so you can even uh, maybe do diagonal ones embrace the wonk as we normally say but that's already done just need a bone folder there we go and for I mixed it with the peaceful deer and I just colored that on if you follow us on Instagram you may have seen the technique that I'm, uh, that I'm I'll be sharing with you now so I'll just get my stamp so it's great Janice for this. I'm sorry Janice. Oh hi Janice, Jasso um, Dasso Craft with Janice. Louise has got her um, Scotty dog coming on Wednesday. Oh cool. Um, unfortunately Ro Louise we don't have it. Yes, unfortunately we don't have the Scotty dog. Um, Jean did a lovely uh, sample there. Is this really... Right, I'm gonna... 
Oh, I might need a spare card. No, I'll do it. I'll do it this way. <laughs> so this way, if you just create a template and you're making loads of cards, you can do it this way. But I'm only doing one, but I, I thought I'll just show it as well anyway. So place that on. And where's my other magnets? There you go. Thank you so much, Janice. Oh, thanks so much, Janice. And for your super chat. Oh, thank you. So I on the card, I use crumb cake. I think this is crumb cake. Yeah. What you could then do is just punch a load. So you can just punch. You can imagine how um, <laughs> messy my... I was working. How, how big was my table? Um, probably about it was three tiny. By two foot <laughs> three by two foot. Yeah, maybe, even a, maybe even a two by... So you can imagine how um, <laughs> messy it was. It was, was. 60 centimeters <laughs> by 50 centimeters. But, oh well. Uh, because I've used this... I love this deer stamp and we've, we've had it for over a year now. Sometimes it does the stickiness of the photopolymer. You, you, you can just either clean it with shami or uh, soapy warm water. But place that on there and align it as much as you can. I think that's okay. And I'm just going to turn this up out. So I have that all the way there. Lift that up. Hopefully it will lift up. No. A bit more. There we go. Right. I'm just going to put something on there. And I used... Oh, did I bring my ink pad? I thought I did. I did. It's on the floor. Yeah, so I moved back about two foot. Long. No, but I, I took it out. So I used early espresso. So you can see that I've marked the plate. Obviously, it won't mark your card, but it will mark your magnets if it's in the way. Oh, I just moved that, didn't I? Oh, no. See? What not to do, eh? <laughs> Let's just see. You could always just stamp it on. You inspired Rachel to use her stamparatus. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sorry. That's always... <laughs> good to hear thank you right i'm just moving that on so another way you can align your because i moved it is actually just stamp it on there you go and this is another way you can align your <laughs> stamped images i i did it actually i did um i was meant to do that just to show you that it's not the end of the world if you move your card <laughs> Right, obviously put back in your pre-punch card. The leg's sticking out a bit, but oh well. It's slightly kicking up. <laughs> there we go. And you can do that really quickly now. And you can also use your stamparatus for mirror stamping technique. You will need a better non-porous surface surface like uh, the silicon craft sheet so this is how I've done it I didn't color it because I, th I thought well the crumb cake color or card it's actually good anyway for coloring so you can color it or just use wink of Stella to add shading but that's how you can get your punch images really quickly so I love that as well because sometimes if you're doing swaps or loads of Christmas cards and it's all the same it's got matching dice or matching stamps and you can use your stamp apparatus I use a chamois just to clean it uh, we don't use baby wipes because we used to not anymore why would you if you have a little chamois because it just cleans it nice and clean and easy and it that was from earlier <laughs> it doesn't make your uh, hands really wet so um, you, you're not transferring ink everywhere so just to finish up I will just do 
at the on. Oh, also, I did the peeves. <gasps> oh, I may have forgotten the peeves. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, peeves is the pearlized enamel effects. Oh, thank you so much, Alice. Thank you. Pearlized enamel effects basics. I call it peeves um, from my one of my favorite characters from a sitcom. <laughs> Can you tell which one? <laughs> There we go. And when I was doing it, because I was doing 80, um, I did get Barrett to finish some off, but I had a system. And when he finished a few of them, I was like, Barry, you didn't put the legs in the right place. <laughs> I was like, I'm sure it's fine. I was aligning it on the L and the I, and he was just willy nilly just putting it everywhere. And I was just like, what else? Actually, I used the um, Jolly. Did I use the Jolly? I can't remember what I used. But yes, yeah, so the L and the I, kind of like for the ear and the leg. And that was my thing. Oh, can you see the peeves? It's a hunt to find it first. Oh no. Oh no. Where oh, is it? No. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I put it really... I don't know what to put it. Can you find it? It's it's in one of our three huge boxes. But that's how I've done them. Um, I'll Whilst Barry's hunting for it, because I'm probably going to get one anyway, I'll quickly show you like the different things or different ways that you can use. Or just changing up the colors. As well, I've done loads of Jingle Jingle. So that sweet sorbet with black. I was, Found it. Oh no. Tahitian Tide and sweet sorbet because the in color. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just showing off how to um, cut the punch. What else have I got? I did do loads. I, I did bin quite a, a few because I, I made loads. But I'll show you the paralyzed enamel effects. I use red in our card. There's still probably half of that. And in the show, I also use the craft uh, silicone mat just to double check um, how they work on there. Uh, it Once it's dry, you can peel them off uh, and use it for... and then stick them on. Or you can lay um, a thin... I use thin multipurpose liquid glue and um, put peeves on top of it. Once it's dried, I could actually peel it off and it was already sticky. But if you're making big, big, uh, I guess, embellishments, you can use the mini glue dot. Now, I did lose my mini glue dot strip, so I don't know how well it dried. <laughs> So I'm just adding different size circle. This will take, it's normally touch dry five to 10 minutes. So um, yeah, I think I did believe in the magic instead of jingle jingle. So how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Shall I do nine? There we go. Eight and nine. So that's how you do that. I think I put the, um, did I put the craft sheet on there? Sorry, the silicone craft sheet, did I put it in back in the thing? No, did I? Two. Oh. I'm I'm demonstrating, Barry. You're so mean. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're cool. I also used the silicone craft sheet to do some ink blending. Um, so what I did was just add a, a bit and then just spread it out, just a thin bit. and then use your it's slightly big so um, I'll just do tiny ones as well 
and I put the catalogue on top of it, so it was squished. <laughs> I was like, oh, never mind. It still worked. It was just a squishy dot. And of course, it comes in red, black, and white. The white is slightly pearlescent. So I'll just do those and put it aside. Or what you could do is if you just do it on the actual silicone craft sheet, once it's dried, um, what I did was you sure take your pick tool. Obviously, I can't show you now because it's still wet, but just add dots on where your oh, see, I just moved it. <laughs> Oopsie, <laughs> I'll have raindrops. Hopefully, I just added small dots of blue where I wanted it, picked it off from my silicon craft sheet and then added it on like that. So there we go. I'm going to move that aside now before I ruin it even more. But we will have a look at that maybe next time because it won't be dry. So Barry's going to come over uh, and... We will do the random draw, but yes, hopefully you like that. You can use the Wink of Stella just to add. Shall I? Oh, it's still not wet. Is that one better? Just to add some shimmer. And once it's dry, the stamping, the ink shouldn't really pull out. Whilst it's still wet, you it does spread the ink so just be careful with that or just do a quick brush around onto there and onto there uh, charlotte says could you could you possibly use the leftover blue dots from card kits too yes you can oh they're tiny yes i i played with sentimentally ro sentimentally rose sentimental rose today as well and the mini glue dots on there are mini mini Mini. They're like extra mini. <laughs> <laughs> right, so whilst Barry is doing that, I'll show you some samples of what I've been crafting with. So a quick one tonight, yes. So because we were organized from the fair. <laughs> organized? <laughs> organized. I still got two. You did, yay. I love my <laughs> wand. This is my... <laughs> Excuse me? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, the theme for the show was harvest and they wanted us to create something for the board and I created this wand using barbecue stick, <laughs> kebab stick, um, wrapped that with the natural ribbon and the gl glitter washi tape, uh, nature's prints or dyes, I can't remember the, the dye, sun prints dyes, this is the alphabet bundle with the punch. Uh, bow punch bow 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 <laughs> so it's a mixture of die cuts and punches and because of the um of the stick i had to add a couple of layers of dimensionals probably three and then just use that for the backing but i can just cover that again and i can have that wand for on stage <laughs> yay lovely so it's going to be shaking his wand yeah on stage so I have got everyone's names in. Hopefully, Vicky, your internet signal is going to come back soon if you've got us. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed. But we're going to go over to the draw now. Have you yes. got any more you're going to show? Yeah. No, I just wanted this one. I, we just put around one of our um, boards. And because we it was sticky, I just put it in a topper. And that's a topper for a card. And this one is another one I did with... Um, you know you get the die cuts, off cuts from the inside. I used that as the base for it and then just punch loads of the bow punch in soft suede. Yeah, that one. I, I wasn't going to throw it away. So I was like, oh, what can I, what else chuck, can I make? He doesn't chuck anything away. But look at what create, what he creates <laughs> yeah, of it. So. Another topper. So I thought I was quite happy with those. I, so you should be. Yes. They're amazing. Thank you. So, let's pick a winner for my first card right here, and then we will pick a winner. Oh, you smudged your dots. Yeah, I know. That's why I screamed. Oh, is that why you screamed? <laughs> screamed. 
<laughs> Lovely. Let's go over to the wheel of here we go. Wheel of names. So good luck, everyone. Fingers crossed. And the winner is bum bum bum. Oh, who was it? Sue. Sue. Congratulations, Sue. Sue. That's Please. all we have is Sue. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> email us barrettnj at mythosocrafts dot com with your full mailing address, including country code or country um and today's date the 4th of september please please yes thank you very much congratulations there sue that card Amazing. is working its way over to you so nice and quick one for you tonight still took us an hour to do well nearly, uh, an, nearly hour. an hour to do these cards tommy has just come in and said hello so he's a, he has missed us all for the last yes. couple of days because he hasn't had any cuddles as much as he oh. normally gets so, because we've been out. Oh. But he's here. I hope to show you this. Oh, what, you, what well. do you want to show? <gasps> Look at that one. I did that in the show. Yes, he made that over today, actually, wasn't it? My harvest-themed No. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So, Rachel, um, I'm really pleased we have inspired you to get your to, um, to use your stamparatus. And, um, yes. Please let us know how you get on with it. Yay! Tag us. Tag us. <laughs> so yes, we can see post it. it. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I think we will say um, good night for now. We're going to now just go and relax after a busy weekend. Yes. And we will be back on Wednesday. Same time, same place. Yeah, I might, I might play with the nature sprints and do those wreaths, maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, maybe. Okay, yeah. maybe who wants to see the wreath on Wednesday? Let us know in the comments. Yay. Yay or nay. <laughs> Yay or nay. Yay or nay. Lovely. Thank you, everyone, <gasps> thank for watching. Thank you so much. And thank you all for your Super Chats um, donations there. Really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. it. Goes towards helping us out. Cool. Thank you, everyone. Take care, everyone. Until Take next care. time. Bye bye. Bye.